sounded like it was going to be terrible. Let's talk about Wizards and Dominaria, but first I want to talk about... Um, let's see. What is this guy? How does this look in here? Perfect. Um... What's the new wizard? I'll look him up. Oh, would you please? Would you please? Naru Meha Master Wizard. It's Flash. It says when Naru Meha Master Wizard enters the battlefield, copy target instry, instant or sorcery spell. You control, you may choose new targets for the copy. So, people have already noted that if you copy Acrobatic Maneuver, you can draw infinite cards. Uh, because you'll keep popping Naru and he can keep copying the Acrobatic Maneuver. So currently, my way to win, so one thing you could do is pump Daring Archaeologist to infinity, because it says whenever you cast a historic spell, put plus, oh, actually that says cast, never mind. Daring Archaeologist, oh, Traxos is out too, oh, they're really good with these casts. Mm, I thought I had something here. I've searched Scryfall. There's almost nothing that gives you an ETB trigger. What up, Beardy, by the way? Yeah. Thanks for stopping through today. The only card I could find is... Well, there's there's a few here. Um, what do we want to look for? Let's look at here. There's decoction module. I was specifically looking for a card that triggered when a creature entered the battlefield or an historic. This does. So you could get infinite energy if you had this out. But how are you going to bolt them? Where do you get the mana from? Oh, I guess you need to bolt on this deck, too, so now we're up to nine. Nahru Meha is basically the same as Panharmonic and DNK, which you seem to know a lot about. Oh, wait, no. That's, that's Neheb. So Decoction Module can get you infinite energy, which there's not much to do with. Um... Plus, we don't have it. This one is interesting. You could explore through your entire deck. Straight up in a manly fashion. Of course. I forgot. I'm talking to the Lona. I'm kind of interested in exploring through my entire deck. It doesn't matter. You hit a land, it goes into your hand, and then you still have the loop. You're, you're still getting infinite Naru Meha activations. So you could put every every card in your graveyard except for land, which you could have all in your hand. How would that help you? I don't know. Some kind of graveyard shenanigans. But this seems to be the biggest payoff for something like that. Though you, re I don't really feel like infinite Kamehameha activations.
You don't really want to be playing greens. I love graveyard shenanigans, so I'm always ready. That's a good question. This one says you have to copy. Target instant or sorcery you control. You could change the targets to a different creature or something. From acrobatic. I guess we're off acrobatic. Acrobatic. Oh, I don't know how to spell maneuvers. Maneuvers. Nope. I knew I didn't know how to spell it. I mean, you could just eventually put it on another creature if you had another creature out. Is it? Even if you have lich the Lich enchantment out? Can't lose with the Lich enchantment. Maybe that's a thing. You cast the Lich enchantment. You gain... 40 life or however much deck you have left it all goes in the graveyard and your hand is all lands then what what about world shaper the problem is <coughs> you could jam all the lands out oh yeah no, I'm just I'm just messing around with this idea. It is too many colors, I agree. Then you can put all your lands onto the battlefield. All but the like seven that are still in your hand after you discard. Yeah, all right. This, this combo is too far away. Let's talk wizards. And let's talk is it wizards. So let's go here. Champion of Wits is the one that comes most to mind, I would assume, for people. As a good is it wizard that we already have. Is Dominaria chosen here? Baral is great, but he's an Aether Revolt, so we're a bit away. Beardy Magic Hype. Fervent Paincaster seems pretty bad. Nimble Extructionist is definitely good. Look at Ninja with that sweet beardy sub. Oh boy. Uh Kapala is not bad. We're we're gonna talk about Merfolk Wizards. Mono blue Merfolk Wizards. And Kapala would certainly make the cut. Best team mode on Twitch. Nimble instruction is very good wizard. It's a flash one. It's nice. Pathmaker Initiate, probably not good. Riverwise Augur, it's a brainstorm on a stick. It's pretty expensive, but if you're playing Merfolk Wizards and you get Brainstorm, that's pretty good. I would keep this guy in mind. Seafloor Oracle, also a wizard, also a Merfolk. Probably doesn't make it in the Is It Wizard deck, but certainly I would think would go in the Merfolk Wizard deck. Seeker of Insight seems bad. Shaper Apprentice, also a wizard. This is your beater if you play Merfolk Wizards. Silvergill Adept, also a wizard. 
Two nice two drops here. 3-1 Flying Beater. 2-1, yeah, well. Siren Storm Tamer. This might make it in the Is It deck. Probably not in the Merfolk deck. Siren Storm Tamer and Soul Scar Mage are right now my top two one drops for an Is It Wizard deck. Um, they're pretty great. There's that new one in Dominaria, which the red guy, which I also like. The Githu Lava Runner. Seems okay. But I don't know if we really want 12 one drops. So I'm really favoring these two as my eight one drops. Spellweaver Eternal is kind of good too. Um, and that's because we have the multicolored card that gives all your wizards prowess. So this gives you double prowess on each of these creatures, and double prowess seems very good. Zombie Naga Wizard. And I don't know if that's a thing. You play eight of these, I don't know if that's enough prowess. But then all your other wizards just get normal prowess, but these get double prowess. And you could... You could do some things. The Afflict 2 is nice too, because like if this guy's ending up being... For every Lightning Bolt, he's a what? He gets plus 2, plus 2, he's a 4-3. That's pretty good. So this guy might... Make the cut if you're really just trying to rock the double prowess deck. Storm Cult Sculptor seems bad. Tempest Caller is great in Merfolk Wizards, I would assume. Time Stream Navigator is great. Mox's Trigger Prowess. Yes. Yes, please. Um, this card is, if you're up for jank, this card is, should be there. Trophy Mage is sweet, but we're not getting it for a while. And I don't understand the symbol. I don't know what set this is from, but that is not the usual set symbol. Water Trap Reaver could be okay in Merfolk Wizards. And that's about it. So what good wizards do we get from Dominaria that are making us think about wizards? Journey Mage is pretty garbage, though it is a wizard. Merfolk Trickster is a wizard. And if you're playing mono blue Merfolk, this is easy to cast. Doesn't do too much, but it does stuff. It's I guess it's better than, well, Water Trap Weaver taps it down for an extra turn. The gold wizard is the one who gives prowess to every other wizard, but it's every other wizard, I'm pretty sure. Naban. I think this guy could make the cut. It does weird stuff, and I don't think there's actually that many good Enter the Battlefields triggers for wizards. But it's a two drop, and I'm not sure there's that many great two drops. You might just want more wizards. Probably would not play four of. Double Soul Scars ability. Yeah, maybe. Narumea. This is a Lord, so I think you got to play four of these. Yeah, Champion of Wits is in there. That's a three drop, though. The two drop slot, we only have like Spellweaver Eternal right now and Naban. CGB didn't like Precognition Field. I'm still stoked for it. It's got to be in the right deck, but I'm still stoked for it.
the biggest payoff, of course, for wizards is the lightning bolt and counter spell. So the counter spell kind of goes in our two drop slot. Maybe that's what we want to do most of the time is just start holding up, play a one drop, start holding up counter spell till we can go off. Here's another merfolk wizard. Seems pretty meh. And here's counter spell if we have a wizard. If not, it's still just better than cancel. Well, it's always better than cancel. It's just cancel if you don't have a wizard. And I think if you're playing Is It Wizards, the whole payoff is this Wizards Retort and the Lightning Bolt. Do they look bad? I don't think they look so bad. I think they look pretty good. And here we go on to the red ones. Fire Fist Adept. Like this seems great with Naban, but it's probably too expensive. Though I don't know what your our end game is really. Are you telling me you, you wouldn't run counter spell, Thelona? You just run Storm Tamers. Get the Chronicler seems pretty bad. One three bodies okay. Journey Mage seems really bad. Lava Runner I still like, but I don't know if we want twelve one drops. I mean, I think you got to play a lot of spells in this wizard's deck, which you want to because it's prowess anyway. So maybe you run like 16 creatures and then spells. I mean, you could probably try to go down to 12 creatures, but that always gets sketchy once you're at 12 creatures. And eight is super duper sketchy. Chart the course might be pretty good in that deck. And Wizards Lightning, of course, is the other payoff card. It's tough. Like, maybe it's super fast, and maybe it's really good against red deck wins, because you can fill it with, like, Wizard's Lightning and Magma Sprays, and then you have all these uh, Prowess Triggers. Which one is Blade Wing? Tormenting Voice. Yeah. I'd much rather have... I think you might run something more like Opt. So you can do it instant speed. Even though it doesn't get you any card advantage. And we'll look at the multicolor wizard. 2-2 two, two, flying haste. Whenever you cast a wizard you control, get plus one. So it would. It would trigger itself, right? Oh, I thought the blade wing was like a five drop. Yeah, this triggers itself on Prowess, too. So you clearly need four of these and need to hope it somehow survives. The nice thing is it has haste. <coughs> so if you get this turn five and you got two of the lightning bolts or even two magma sprays, that's two Prowess triggers on everything you have. Prosperous Pirate seems like a stretch. I'd probably take out Prosperous Pirates and put in more removal. 
But that is just at a very small glance. Are there any more wizards in gold? You might even be able to play her in Is It Wizards if you're running enough mocks and stuff, but I don't think you are. But you might be running enough legendary creatures in which she draws you a card every time. Yeah, the kicker's a little bit tricky. And Joda is just a whole nother deck. He's a wizard, but you certainly don't play him in Is It Wizards? Admiral Order is very good. Raph Caption. Once again, I don't think we're splashing Jess guy just for that guy. Though he's a fine, fine wizard. And that's it for our wizards. I think it's a super fun deck. I like tempo decks a lot. Nice, Green Orb. Oh boy! But, um... Oh, crud. I actually have to go. I don't know. I like tempo decks a lot. I like playing with early counter spells. I don't know how many pirate wizards we had here. Was it Siren Storm Tamer the only pirate wizard? These are all humans. Most of the other ones are humans. I was wondering if you could run Lookout's Dispersal. But everything else is human, it looks like. We, not too many pirate wizards. Yeah, everything's human. Tempo's your wheelhouse, eh? I like Tempo too. I had a pretty sweet blue-white Tempo deck in duels for a long time. I had I tried one with Metallic Rebuke, basically. No, I agree with that, Beardy. They completely abandoned pirates. Like, I don't know if they gave any pirates in this set. They certainly gave a dinosaur. I know that. One dinosaur. Not sure they gave vampires. It was weird. Anyway. That's got to be it for me today. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Um...